Aloha everyone, I'm Cheryl Hamilton and today I'm excited to show you a fun fold card called the Bridge Fold. And to do this, I'm gonna be using um, some items from the Peaceful Play Suite that's in the new holiday catalog. And the first one I made is um, like this. There's a Bridge Fold card and you can see how it's made, but it does fold flat to fit in a regular size envelope. And um, I really love this. Tried to add a touch of red with like a bird and it did, it wasn't the right size. And I just um, wanted to see what would happen with if I put some red. So then I made a second card that I really love. This is more of a nighttime version. And um, isn't that neat? So it shuts like this. And um, then when they open it, it's just to display and um, you're gonna love this. So um, stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. I found the idea for this beautiful card on Facebook from Lisa Brown. So thank you so much, Lisa. I think this is the perfect set for a bridge fold. And um, thanks so much for your directions and everything. Um, for this first card, I haven't changed it up much at all from what she did. I did, um, try it out and added dimensionals right under the house so that they stood away from the trees a little bit. I thought that was neat. Um, and I've used Wink of Stella. Can you see it barely on the on the snow slopes and stuff? And it's on the house, except I don't think you can see it. I made a different version in a darker color that looks like nighttime, added some real red just for a mat on the back of my DSP, and then added some of those pretty sequins. What are those called? Um, subtle shimmer sequins. And they're, those are really fun. And um, so I just glued on a few of those for some sparkle, but I really thought it was pretty with the red. Um, to do this, you have to look at the suite. It's um, in your mini catalog, the July through December 2021. On page 37, you'll see um, Peaceful Place starts here, and then this is all the items in it. The designer shares paper, you might not really notice that much because it's in black and white and grays, and actually that's it's gorgeous. It's really fun to um, make things with. And then on page 38, it shows you more of this bundle. It's called Peaceful Cabin Bundle. So the paper, it's, um, mine's pretty chopped up. <laughs> Let's see what you can see from here. Um, you can tell that it has some real shiny um, silver in it. And let me see, this one's kind of cool. A lot of these I haven't haven't chopped up with, but I mean, haven't chopped up yet. Let me see, this one. Oh, this one I've used a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this is the one that's great. So obviously you're gonna cut it in quarters, so six by six pieces and um, use those however you want. And can you see the, there's the silver in it. So um, it's nice and um, bright, really pretty. Now this is another of my favorites. This is what I used for the nighttime card. And again, you can see the shiny silver in there. It's just beautiful. You're gonna have fun with this set. Anyway, It's that's what I've got. I'm starting with a piece of basic black cardstock that is cut eight inches by four and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna grab my scoring tool and score it at one and a quarter, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three quarters. Okay. 
and I've cut my Peaceful Place Designer Series paper for the middle part. I've cut it two and three quarters by four inches. And then I've cut four for my little side panels and those are cut two and three quarter inches by four inches. And you can see how it would look if I put them down like that. It's, pr it's really pretty. Um, but I'm gonna uh, use um, some real red just to add some contrast. So I've cut my real red, I cut four and an eighth by two and seven eighths. So it's just a sliver larger. Isn't that pretty? And then um, for the other, for these four panels, I've cut my real red at four and an eighth by one and an eighth. So that'll be the difference there. Now I've finished gluing all my papers down onto my card base, and I'm gonna fold it to make it into a bridge fold card. So I'm folding it towards the center first, and then out, and same with the other, towards the center and the outer part towards the outside. So it looks like this. I've cut a piece of basic white cardstock in quarters. So these four pieces measure five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm gonna use these for stamping for the front part. And um, just for the back, you wanna do a message on there. I've cut a piece of white that is four inches by two and three quarters. And I'll just put that aside right now. I'm gonna use grid paper to help me with this next part. And um, I've marked the three inch line with my marker. Just to show you, you can buy these basic black markers individually, 100082. And they're really useful. They have a fine tip point and a brush end. So I have a couple of those on hand, but I'm gonna take my white and just place it here in the corner. And I've got my big cabin image on this. Now the way I have figured out to do this is, okay, I'm gonna use Memento ink. Because it's kind of a big image, I like to place it upside down and ink on it that way, just to make sure it's really covered well. Um, so, for the top of the chimney, I want that to be, let me see, around two and three quarters. So I'm putting it there. It doesn't have to be exact, of course, but this kind of helped me so that when I lined everything up, um, it worked it just like I wanted it to. <laughs> okay, put this back down here. Let me clean this real quick. And I'm going to put the tree image on here. I like to make it pretty straight. I don't know why that helps me so much, but um, I'm inking it in Memento again. And let me see, the top of the trees are going to go at three inches. To stamp my fox, I want the feet to be at the one inch line. There he is. Now this is gonna be cut at the right over the fox, so it'll be down here. So I'm gonna um, stamp a couple of bridges that are gonna cut out at the top of this paper. And I'm almost done. I'm gonna do a few more trees um, just in case I find I want to add them in there on my last piece I think that's okay I probably only need one set but I'll do two in 
in case I want more. Now I'm going to use my die cuts from this same suite and I'll come back and show you what they look like. So here's what I've ended up with after cutting those off. Um, trees. I had extra trees that, oh actually, let me see, this is the good one that I'm going to put like behind this. And then these are extra trees that I'm going to, um, you know, just cut apart if I want to stick some trees someplace. My two little fences and here's my um, fox. So it had, as you can see, the die cuts, you know, just fit right over the fox and then they make this pretty little snowy slope. Isn't that neat? So um, I'm going to glue them together just with Tombow. Let's see, because I think one thing you could do definitely is you could put dimensionals under here and pop it up so that it's further away from the tree. But I'm going to just glue it on. Again, let me think, do I want it lower? Um, I think I'm going to cut like a little quarter inch or something just to make this a little bit lower. So you can mess around with it you know, to, um, after you, you're done with this, it's going to be easy to do this. And, um, yeah, cause a little bit more of the tree shows. Let me see what it's like when I put it on here. I think that's good. Um, so and see how this, um, the front image is a little bit taller. If I put glue all over this, it's going to get all over. <laughs> so I always kind of look at it first and see. And um, all of the snow in under the trees is covered up. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on there. I think that'll make sense to you guys. And then... Um, Then I'll do the fox, which it's the same thing. <clears throat> oh, let me see. Yeah, I'm safe putting the fox down. Okay, and then if you wanted to, you could um, put a few dots of glue back here. I think I will. Then I'm going to glue it. Um, you're gluing to this panel, to both outer panels. And again, you want to be careful how you put the glue on. So I'm kind of measuring it first or putting it up there it's going to go all the way to the outside of my car the card sorry the black so i think that's good and then see that's where i put the glue set it down make sure it's pretty straight and again, it could you could do it this way. It's the same thing. I just want to, before it dries, I want to make sure it's on there pretty straight. And it looks like I'm going to have to, I might have to cut a bit off. We'll see. It's pretty good. Okay, stay. Oh, okay, this part's fun. So I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on these and pop them up. And probably a little tree. Let me just 
um, I'm gonna fussy cut this one out. See if there's room to pop him up. I kind of wanted him here, but it's gonna, I like that though. It covers up a little teeny bit of my fox, but not much. I'm going to put mini dimensionals on the little bridges. I meant to say on the fences. So put a little fence here and one up here. These are these are so cute. I like these. Um Okay, I think you could definitely finish there, but I'm going to add some of these subtle shimmer sequins. So um, I've got this little thing I got on Amazon that puts out tiny dabs of glue. So do that first. my take your pick tool and grab some oh, almost done I thought I'd um, do a sentiment on the back so I could sign it and this would make a really nice Christmas card so boy I could do it in real red but I think I'll stick with the memento That's a pretty font and got this little one with some snowflakes on it, I think. Just put them randomly. Be careful when you're doing these little ones that you still are real, really still when you put your, ah, Put, put it your image down, and that's good enough, I think. My husband always says, the enemy of good is better, and I, I agree. <laughs> so um, I can stick this on the back of my card now when it dries just a bit, and there it is. Isn't that pretty? I really like that, and I hope you guys give this a try. I love this bundle, and... Um, think it's totally worth it. There's so much I could do with it. But um, anyway, thanks so much for watching today. And I hope you get some stamping in. Okay. Aloha.